Morning folks, it's Phil here from Telford Koi Pond on an absolutely disgustingly wet, horrible Saturday morning. Uh, this is only going to be a very short video this week and a, sh and a video in two parts really. I've had, um, and the drum goes off at the most inopportune time, happy days, I'm going to carry on. Um, I've had a number of people ask me for an update on the grow on, whether I've made any more changes, what I've got planned for it and all that sort of thing. And also I want to just put a big reminder out there about the uh, Beacon Koi, Koi competition. So Beacon Koi very kindly. I've um, put up a £100 voucher for £100 off any koi or koi to the value of £100. So I'll come to that in a minute, but uh, first and foremost, I'll do a quick update to the, uh, the filter house and the grow on. So in the filter house, um, no real changes at all. I haven't changed uh, anything in here for a while, to be honest with you. The drum is still working absolutely superbly. I haven't put any more media in, so there's still, I can't remember what I said on the last video, to be honest with you, about 80 litres of, uh, or 60 litres of Alex and 60 litres of Pond Pad, something like that. It's way over uh, manufacturer's recommendations, but as you can see, it's all going very nice. So as long as it's turning like that, I'm more than happy with it. There's nothing stuck in the corners. Um, the drum's superb. Uh, I think I mentioned before these filter screens I bought a replacement set of those and that's they're just so handy what I tend to do is every three months take the ones that are on out put the clean ones in and then the ones I've just taken out I zap them with a jet wash and then put them in some uh, descaler overnight because the water in Telford is absolutely awful for lime scale but other than that it's it's just spot on basically um, for those that know about these filters and the potential drip problems down the side, I sorted my drip problem out basically by putting a piece of silver tape over the over the side here and a piece of draft strip across the top, and that just makes the water that does come down here drip down here, drip into the drip back into the uh, the drum. So don't have any uh, wet floors, which is uh, oops, get it on there eventually. But you can see the mark on the floor where it used to drip. That sort of brownie mark. Um, but now I say everything's working absolutely superb in here. The individual unit again, I've made no changes in there. Um, UVs on the two containers are full of sinking media. Um, you know, it's been absolutely fine. Got a couple of bags of zeolite in there just because I had a couple of bags of zeolite from the other pond and never threw it away. Just leave it in there. Um, I can't think of anything else. I've only got two air pumps working at the moment. I am. Uh, as you would expect, almost fully stocked up on uh, fittings and treatments and things. My readings at the moment on the Pond Guardian, so the TDS is at 190, which is good. I like to keep it under uh, 200. It went up to about 280 when I turned it off for uh, treatments recently. Temperature's 21. The pH says 7.2 on there, but. If you remember a while back, I um, did a trial on the on the cat toily. Don't know how close I can get. The cat toily pH says 7.51. So there's always sort of a 0.3 difference between the two. Now I've tested it with um, you know independent little pen pH meters, and sometimes it's closer to the cat toily, and sometimes it's closer to the uh, the pond guardian. So to be honest with you, what I tend to do is just think it's in the middle. So it's about 7.35, 7.4. Everything else is good. Uh, TDS again, it's saying 190. Temperature 20.9, so there or thereabouts. Uh, or 338. It's all cracky, you know, it's all good stuff. The, um, oops. The beast there is still performing absolutely superb. Reverse os osmosis, and it's still performing at the same functions, the same rates on the readers. Obviously, they're not on at the minute. I'm still getting the same readings. So it's uh, pure pure RO going back into the into the pond is about 2.8 litres per minute. RO waste is 0.7, and purified tap water is just enough to uh, fill up whatever's going into waste. So it's sort of around the 0.75 mark. Um, and remember that only runs for 30 minutes, four times a day, and that is enough to keep my um, TDS as you've just seen down from above 400 down to uh, 190. The backy shower working absolutely superb. I haven't made any changes to that pump or the, the filtration or anything like that. Um, 
big shout out there, Humber Coy, thank you very much, the uh, guys gave me that mug at the uh, BKKS show, very pleased with that, thank you, God bless you, and if you have a quick uh, wonder outside, even though it's tipping down with rain, just show you the little beasts, so they're all quite happy, as I say the back of the show's performing absolutely marvellous, I can't believe I was without the sound of running water for so long, um, superb it really is and it's still just running at a minimal rate it is just the sound of running water that we're after all the fish are fine probably can't tell in this light but uh, the water quality is uh, almost back to where it should be after the treatments so the fish as i say are uh, are happy there's lancelot and there's ghost so yeah and i'll uh, just wander you over to the grow and we'll have a quick look at that I don't know whether you'll see it, but the overflow is working perfectly. Can you just see the drips? I don't know whether you'll catch the drips or not. But the overflow is working perfectly in this weather. It's keeping the water at the height that I've set it at. Fish are happy. Now I think they've grown and I think they've uh, put on some weight. The one fish that's uh, completely bemusing me at the moment is that one that was the shower and as you can see he's uh, he's lost losing all his colour both the uh, sumi and the benny which is really weird but it's still a nice fish got some fantastic mirror scales down the side again I don't know if it's picking up that's my favourite I call him two face because obviously half of his face is black and the other half's red apologies if I'm getting uh, rain on the screen it's dipping down I've made no changes at all to the filtration um, I've just got temporary covers on everything at the minute and the reason for that you'll find out shortly so I'm more than happy with this I'm happy how it's performing sorry I have made changes obviously I've put a new air pump on and I've put the proper uh, air pump uh, lines in there so I can clean the uh, easy pod, pod quicker I still haven't put anything on that uh, that arm that's coming off but I'll tell you about that in the shedding in, in a minute yeah we've got some exciting stuff coming ahead because whilst I'm happy with this um, I have the opportunity to make it better so I am going to I won't say I'm going to completely re-plumb it but there's a lot of this I am going to change for a very good reason and as I say I'll probably that will probably be on the uh, not the next video which will probably be a fish buying video believe it or not but the video after that I'll show you what I'm doing what I'm doing but a load of exciting stuff happening a load more equipment um, I'm just going all out on this to be honest with you the temporary covers are still on the top so those are off the old pond and bits of codged up stuff. I am debating, we spoke to Nora Fine, and Nora Fine are going to actually make us a cover to go over the, the, the whole top. So like a, similar to their net material, but stiffer. So I'm waiting to see what that one turns out like. Um, hopefully that will be something that can, uh, that can sell then as, a, as an easy pond cover, which might be good. Um, otherwise, I am going to get some of this, two more sheets of this stuff, and just cut this to size and put it on properly. So that's the grow on, it's all doing really well, as I say, hopefully you'll see the fish are growing, the ones that aren't losing the colour are definitely colouring up, um, and I spend most of the time, to be honest with you, this is the view out of the, uh, the dining room window, this is sort of that, and then out of the uh, living room window, all that further away, it's sort of that, so we're watching the fish all the while. Right, I'm going back in the shed and then I'll, uh, I'll tell you about a couple of things. So I nearly forgot to show you the one big change I have made and uh, hopefully you'll, you'll pick that up in there um, air curtain, so sorry about the reflection but there is a, a one metre air curtain in there now it's doing an absolutely splendid job and I've took the Venturi off so hopefully you'll see that at the back put the camera close enough uh, I took the Venturi out because I've got the air curtain on actually that might be a better picture, there you go um, just because there was just too much stuff in the pond you know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the grow on. So the air curtain for anybody that's interested, I got that from Oki Koi. Uh, and me and Craig are going on a bit of a road trip again tomorrow. We're going to two places. Uh, first of all, I'm sure you all know that Lee's offloading some of his fish before his Japanese trip. So we're taking a ride up to Lee's. There's a couple of fish that uh, I'm interested in out of Lee's pond. Uh, but then we are actually going on to Oki Koi to have a look what uh, he's got to offer on the uh, koi front so as far as i'm concerned one way or another i'm going to come on with some fish tomorrow i am absolutely determined i've been talking about it for every day broke tanks up now 
parameters are getting there again what I'm doing moving forward I'll show you a bit more on that in the next couple of videos but uh, I'm going to be using some new products as well which hopefully will uh, get me to the tip top position that I wanted to be so uh, I think that's about it there's not really uh, much more I can tell you on this front as I say we've already looked at this is there's nothing uh, nothing changed it's just nice to be in here out the dry so anybody that hasn't got a filter house I would strongly recommend a shed or anything you can do just to put a bit of cover over your head because you know on a, on a horrible tipping down rainy day like this um, you know it's just nice to to come out basically and uh, be dry and doing bits and pieces so I'll snap back to you in a minute and we'll talk about the uh, Beacon Koi prize right folks I'm not sure how well this is going to come out because they're, they're on the telly screens but this part of the uh, video is to talk about the uh, Beacon Koi uh, £100 Koi voucher that they're giving away as for, part of a competition so if you want to know more about it that's the video it's my video 173 if you go and look at that you can have a look around Beacon Koi and also um, it tells you all the rules and regulations and how to uh, do the videos and everything so, sorry how to enter the uh, competition and everything and as I say it's for um, a hundred pound Koi gift voucher so this is a hundred pounds worth of Koi or a hundred pounds off the price of any Koi you purchase from Beacon Koi um, ideally it's a go in and um, choose your coin and take it away with you it's, it's an in-person event but I'm sure if uh, if you have a word with the guys they will do you uh, they might also apply it to um, you know sort of uh, online purchases but I would expect that you will need to pay the um, postage on top of that anyway so if you can go to Big and Koi uh, all the better I'll just uh, swing you around I mean, you've got Dean's contact details down there. You've got Dean's and Simon's, although you won't see it. I'll put the I'll put the rules and regulations up and everything on the um, on the back of this competition. But basically, it's um, all you need to do is to go to Facebook and find uh, Beacon Koi Dash Japanese, and then like and follow them, and then share any um, Beacon Koi post. And then come back to this video 173 and in the comments just put Beacon Koi. And next weekend, I'm gonna, which I think is the 13th and 14th off the top of my head, I will um, put everybody's name that's entered correctly into the wheel of uh, fortune, as it were. We'll spin the wheel, I'll record it and everything. And then whoever wins that obviously is the lucky winner and lucky recipient of £100 towards or £100 worth of Koi. So, uh, Hopefully you'll find that uh, a very worthwhile venture. It's worth a go anyway, as I say, I'm gonna draw it next week. So you've still got a week to uh, enter. Uh, and depending on how the football goes tonight, you can either uh, drown your sorrows by buying a new koi to perk yourself up, or you can celebrate the win with a new koi. So I'll uh, snap back to you in a minute. So that's it folks for this uh, for this week, I'm, um, it's great to be back in uh, Koi Central to be honest with you in the Koi control room. Uh, it seems to have been hijacked from me of late because uh, my brother's using, my brother, my son, he's using it as his office so I'm only coming in, it's all his uh, computer equipment all over the place but uh, it's a worthwhile cause, he's a good lad so uh, you might even see him on a video one, uh, sometime in the future but anyway I'm waffling now so that's it for this week. Um, as I say, the grow on, there's lots and lots of changes about to happen. Um, probably not the next video. The next video will probably be a fish fine video, he said, keeping his fingers crossed. Um, but the video after that, there's some big changes happening uh, with me and my grow on and just my koi, pe koi keeping in general. And I'll tell you what that is in, in due time. But also the Beacon Koi competition, fantastic competition. You know, hundreds of pounds worth of koi or hundred pounds worth, hundred pounds off a koi that you purchase don't come along every day it's free to enter it's dead simple so have a go and uh, best of luck with that one and finally something i don't say enough but i see it on other people's videos i do just want to say an absolutely massive thank you to all my subscribers all my followers uh, and and to all of you that leave comments on my video you know i have some uh, i have some fantastic fantastic comments and it absolutely um you know, makes all this worthwhile, the effort that goes into uh, producing videos and stuff. So massive thank you for that. Um, to the people that leave neg negative comments, 
you know, I've got no problem. It's your opinion. Um, if you want to share them, that's absolutely fine. Um, and, you know, we take the good and the bad as it goes. But just a massive thank you. And to anybody that enters the competition, good luck. See you next time.